Hi, in this video I'm looking at calculating the area of this shape here. Now this shape here has this side here which is 50 millimeters. These two sides up until they start curving are marked with these stick marks on them meaning that they are also 50 millimeters. And then we've got this curved area here that we also need to work out. So if we draw a horizontal line across this shape up the top of where this starts curving we can split it into two shapes I can have shape one which is this half circle and I can have a shape two which is this square and then I would just need to add the two together before I can work out the area of the circle I need to know what its radius is I know that this entire line from here to here is 50 millimeters and that would be its diameter so I need to work out from the middle outward what's the radius and so if I've got a diameter of 50 the radius would be 50 divided by 2 so my radius is 25 millimeters so now I know everything I need to know, let's get into the math. So the, for the first one, we've got half a circle. Area one is half a circle. And it's this half a circle where I've got radius of 25 millimeters. And the angle that I've got within my circle for half a circle so I've got 180 degrees worth of a circle so if I go to my rule where I've got theta on 360 degrees work out the fraction of the circle multiplied by the area of a full circle pi r squared I can put these numbers in I've got 180 degrees divided by 360 degrees multiplied by pi multiplied by 25 squared and so if I work this out the top half of our shape has an area of 981.75 millimeters squared then I can work out area 2 now area 2 is this square because all sides are the same of 50 millimeters the rule for the area of a square is side squared so we have 50 squared and so this area is 2500 millimeters squared and then to work out our total overall area that's going to be area 1 plus area 2 so we're going to have 981.75 add on 2500 and we get a total area of 3481.75 millimeters squared and we'd probably be able to leave our answer like that because our units were in millimeters the question didn't ask for anything else but this is quite a long number so just to tidy things up a little bit I'm going to convert this into centimeters squared because that's going to be just a little bit of a nicer number to deal with now to convert from millimeters to centimeters we divide by 10 but we're in area so we're going to divide by 10 squared and this would give us an area of 34.82 centimeters squared if we wanted to have the conversion and so that's it we've got our answer the area of this shape is 3481.75 millimeters squared or 34.82 centimeters squared and we got there by splitting it into two shapes half a circle and a square working out the areas of those two and adding them together 